Welcome to the Lakefront News. I'm Anna Boone. Our Lady of the Lake upperclassmen can now get up to two summer classes paid for just by taking 15 hours in fall and 15 hours in the spring. It's all thanks to the new Wings Up Summer Tuition Grant Program that goes into effect summer of 2018. The program was organized by Dr. John Gomez and Dean Michael Laney. Again, junior and senior level students will have to have completed 30 hours. You will be eligible for up to six hours of WAVE tuition in summer of 2018, even if you are scheduled to graduate in August. Students who, students who we spoke to are delighted to hear of the new program that they are able to take advantage of. That really does help you because you can just you can stay in school and stuff like that. You can get the classes that you actually need in that will actually be received. And you know, you can actually get ahead of your classes and even graduate early, which I thought was pretty neat. The summer schedule goes live on Wednesday, October 18th. And make sure to stay tuned in next week for more updates on this. On October 1st, a gunman opened fire on a crowd gathered for the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival on the Las Vegas Strip. What was supposed to be a night of music and fun turned into the deadliest mass shooting in the United States history. More than 50 people are dead and hundreds more injured. We asked our Lady League students their thoughts about the tragedy in Las Vegas. It really hit close to home for me because my mom and my stepdad go to Vegas about like twice or three times a year and so my mom actually has a Vegas trip planned here in a couple weeks so it really like scared me like I texted her and I was like you're not going to Vegas anymore. One of my closest friends was in Vegas at this time. Uh, I was panicking because I was you know I was freaking out like where is she at? Uh, is she okay? I was trying to communicate myself with her. It took it did take some time um, and thank God she was okay. It makes me feel a little bit scared to like go to public events and just like casually just enjoying that time and not having to fear about situations like that. There will be a prayer service for world peace that is taking place on Wednesday, October 11th. The Eucharistic prayer for world peace will be co-sponsored by the CDP Young Adult Associates and the University Ministry. The event will begin at 7 right in front of, of Mary's statue in front of the main building. You are encouraged to RSVP so they can reserve a candle for you. Students who are stressing about midterms week found a way to put their minds at ease. Reporter Denise Coronel has more on what some students did to help their midterm grades. I'm here in the parlor where Olu students were blessed by the Sisters of Divine Providence before midterms. The event known as the Power of Providence Blessings was held October 4th from 1 to 2 p.m. It was relocated so that students could receive their blessings from the CDPs. You know, we can study for hours and hours and hours, but there's always a little push of Jesus that we need for us to be able to guide and flow through, the, through our tests, through our essays, whatever the test or midterm may be. All students were invited to receive a blessing during midterm week to relieve stress, to help them study, and to simply have a moment with God. Reporting at the parlor, I am Denise Coronel reporting for your Lakefront News. Commuters and graduates were able to bond over lunch. Lakefront reporter Erica Guevara joins us in the studio with more. Erica? That's right, Anna. Students were able to socialize and eat thanks to the Student Government Association who hosted a commuter and graduate brunch. The event took place in the Providence Blue Room from 12 to 1.30 p.m. on October 4th. Those students attended felt it was important to be recognized. I'm happy that this, that this was put together because I, I do feel that commuters are often forgotten or left out. The event was held so the commuter and graduate students could not only get to know other students, but also to voice any questions or concerns they had. Reporting in the studio, I'm Erica Gavada with Lakefront News. Olu is hoping to catch the attention of potential students and give them some insight of what college can offer a person who enrolls here. And their new branding campaign is just the right example. Lakefront reporter Stephanie Garza has more. That's right. The Olu Marketing Communications Department is hoping to create a better sense of who we are as a college and a community by launching a new campaign that will feature billboards and signs on via buses, 
as well as an online campaign that will feature digital ads and social media ads. The branding process began about a year and a half ago and will launch on October 9th. A team within the Marketing and Communications Department established dialogues and open forums with students, faculty, and staff across campus and started talking about building a marketing campaign for Olu. One aspect of that was how they could make Olu's mission come to life. They listened to feedback and process ideas to come up with what they call the five foundations, which are rooted in providence, personal support, hands-on learning, service and leadership, and transformation. This really came from our ongoing conversations with the community. Literally hundreds of students, faculty, staff su suggested these foundations to our team. And uh, we, we put those ideas together and that's what we've come up with. Not only are we looking externally through this branding process, we're really hoping that internally that the branding process brings pride to our students, faculty, staff, and alumni. In a crowded and competitive higher education landscape like the one in San Antonio, it can be difficult for a university to stand out. That is why the Olu Marketing and Communications team utilize the latest tools and technology in order to create a branding campaign that really raises Olu's visibility among individuals interested in pursuing higher education and to inform people outside of the Olu community about the experiences of our students, faculty, staff, and alumni. Again, this campaign will launch in the San Antonio area for now, focusing on the San Antonio campus and the students there. But officials say this is just phase one, and they hope to do the same with all OLO campuses and online programs, and hope to feature OLO members at those locations as well. Reporting in front of Casa Caritas, I'm Stephanie Garza for Lakefront News. We'll see you right here back next week. Reporting with Lakefront News, I'm Anna Boone.